Ah, uh, yes. Still in London. Still trying to extend this railway. Still trying my best to get this done. And for some reason, still always late. Is that birds? Oh, hey, yeah, look. Birds. Look at them go. Oh, that guy's doing left behind. Okay, welcome back to the UK inspired rail network where I am building most of the sort of London to sort of Midlands area rail network or as much as I can as realistic as I can while I'm spinning around making you all dizzy looking at the map and ca things catching my eye like birds. Today I thought we would sort of try and sort of connect up West Hampstead to uh, Kings Cross and Pancras. We have sort of made in the last episode we made West Hampstead. Um, I've sort of built it a little bit. Um, is that what we did last episode? Is that what I did? Is that what I did last episode? No, I didn't. What did we do last episode? No, we didn't. We did London Underground last episode, didn't we? To uh, Camden Town. That's what we did. We built the London Underground thing. So I'm absolutely lying. So yeah, the main reason why I thought we'd do this. So I'm thinking of doing Kentish Town. Right about here. I have off camera, I have rearranged and started some of this. So I have rearranged a lot of this area and I've started this sort of area here off camera. Um, <clears throat> just got set up some of the lines ready to go to Kentish Town here. Uh, what I also did as well is I got rid of this bit of railway, put a blank bit of ballast in, and I also noticed that I missed a switch. And I there was actually three lines going down here and you have like a service railway line down here so i've added that in there i had to back this up a little bit get rid of that and i managed to slide that switch in there which has ended up a lot better than i thought and it actually adding that one has actually made this turn a little bit less visually ugly to me anyway to me anyway when that line wasn't there this looked odd on its own i think the gap i'm not sure why but i think the way the corner went it looked a bit too square a little bit too odd it still does a little bit here but i'm okay with it for now anyway so what i've done is i've added that extra line so then that mean that meant i had to move this tunnel over a little bit more and rearrange the uh thames link tunnel to come more further to the right basically and then i've started doing the switch work here we've got some road bridges before we go into the tunnel and i've raised the terrain here and i'm probably going to raise it all around here to this level um, simply because there's all housing on top of this. And I might try and encourage Camden to stretch over all this so we can get some... Hopefully, it builds housing over the top of here as well. Then we can get some buses going and get some more services. So I've... Yeah, so I've made this tunnel. It got it to the six tracks that it needs to be. Rearranged the tracks slightly as they come out of the tunnel here. Kind of in there, sort of twos. There's generally a little bit more of a gap between these two, but I've done it the best I can and arranged it. So it looks smooth as well. It's more about the transition. I could have tried to put another gap here and winded this one, but I think it wouldn't have looked as smooth as it does now. I've used open rail for a lot of the switch in here. I'm not sure. I've looked open rail. There's no more switches underneath. I think that is a lot. Although, I'm not sure if this... I mean, I think... This is up, down, fast, up, down, slow, and Thames Link here is what I can tell. So we'll work that out at a later date with our signaling and switches, but that's the way I've got it. Because what we have at Kentish Town is an up, down, fast that doesn't stop, and an up, down, slow, and then the Thames Link as well. What I was thinking is, as we get into this, is I was thinking that we do the ultimate station so we can have a nice curved station on this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stretch out one of these tracks a little bit and we're going to bring it out and then we're going to work with it from there you're gonna to have to bear with me with the ultimate station because sometimes i set it up wrong the idea is is we've got to get this to this kentish town needs to be about here because it also it also has a northern line underground station which is around about uh let's control g it's around up there we are it's there well that's the little thing i did but it's going to come out here and go straight up and be an underground station for the northern line as well underneath kentish town so we're going to get that in as well while we're here i believe i need to just double check that is that the right one yes it is yep yeah, yep yeah, that's the right one yes yeah, so that's what we're going to do as well so what we're going to do is we're going to pause the game 
and we're going to crack on with this. So I'm going to start off with the up down fast just to get our bearings. I believe all these tracks are electrified. I don't need that much. About that much. Stay on the level because we're a lot lower and I've also got to get the DC line over the top of this as well at some point. And then we're going to take a look at the ultimate station as we have a, a bit of a hiccup here and I need to look at the station length as well. I've got the hiccups. Bad times have the hiccups. I think we're going to go for about 240. So platform whip 10. 915. Radius. I bet that the wrong way. It doesn't really matter because I can just do this. Um, Era C. Track count. I think I'm going to go with one because... Yeah, we need to go this way. Radius needs to be... This way slightly. About that there two we platform length needs to be 240 and then we need high speed standard i don't use i think i've said this already before but i on my other builds at the moment i am using the vignol uh uk tracks rather than the high speed tracks i just find them because they've got that nice little curvature uh the nice little curvature uh on the on the the concrete here they bend down a little bit and it just looks a little bit more realistic i haven't used it on here and i keep threatening to maybe add it so this track i'm going to leave it and there's a reason why i'm going to leave it loose because i've discovered i have something else but it doesn't work it doesn't work um have i even electrified that track no i haven't oh my god oh no it's all right i can do it after it doesn't work uh, th this thing i've got doesn't work when it against platforms or anything so i'm gonna leave that like that so i can get it to work i think i know how i'm gonna do this i think you have to bear with me so we're going to delete all this off i've made an absolute error here platforms error c right about here uh geometry nine and then that one ten and tracks high speed here 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 that's how i do it don't i and then from here i'm gonna go to geometry not whip we want the directional modifier and i just want to bring that in that's too much so how about if we use the numeric there we go and yeah that's better and then i can sort that out at a later date and then we confirm that and I have to build the track out this way from this, don't I? I and that should just no, oh, it's not gonna follow it, but it will do, it will do. Put that there, and then go here, uh, geometry, uh, reference modifier, that one, that one, that one. Okay, and then we should be able to high speed. And if I go this way with this one. I bend that in a little bit more that hasn't moved that has it no can we not bend that in we get a little bit more and bend in that there we go that's nice confirm that tracks high speed there 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 geometry reference that one to that one please that looks good okay then we need another platform here and that needs to be geometry of on whip is that the right height is that still is that held the 10 meter height yeah it has one two three four five ten meters lovely jubbly confirm and then we need tracks again high speed this one and we need to go here and here and here here all the way around and we need to get a nice angle on this as well uh geometry what did i i was using the numeric wasn't i to bring so we can match these up i can do later is that as far as that's gonna go about there yeah nice this is this is a bit a little bit fiddly but we are getting there i need to back all this up i think a little bit by the time we um 
back it in. Actually, what I'll do is I'll probably back it up to the tunnel, that track, and then just bring it in. Reference that one. Jubbly. What I might do, yeah, is I'll, I'll, I might back up all this. I'll leave this here, back these two up, and just bring them in. Kind of, that's kind of not too bad, actually. That might swing. We might have to just reverse that and swing it in the other way. We'll have a look. Right, anyway. Tracks, what are we looking at the other end? Okay, so this one's wider, so this one might be okay. High speed. One thing I'd like to do, when I bring the northern line in, is I'd like to... I wish you could sort of build a, a building on this platform that connects to the underground station. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? And we'll bend that a little bit more as well. Just a little bit. You're going to bend? This is going to be really tough. Oh, not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I can deal with that. That's nice. That's a nice bend. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's get our platforms down. That was actually a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. I think this, um, this mod has got a little bit better. Its usability seems... Um, loads nicer uh what do i need here platform around the edge of this i'm just going to get the basics in today and then what i might do is <clears throat> is i wanted to get this in with you guys get the northern line in underneath get the connections in with you guys and then i might do a second video time lapse and just tidy it all up and then finish the connection and the tunnels here in a time lapse and just tidy it up and add some retaining walls different bits and bobs we'll see we'll see what there is how much content there is worth adding i'm reasonably happy with that right um let's get these railways in then we can come back to editing that let's get the railways in get the basics going so what we have here high speed this one oh actually no i don't want to do that i don't want to do that yet what i want to do is um what i want to do is play with the width for these the distance in between the platforms and the station edge here so we want to go into assets uh we'll just go gwr just place these down here 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 and here and we wanted overlapping modifier i think it's about there nice and the same just one same with this hopefully the track the only issue i have with this sometimes is the track doesn't like connecting to the end of the platform. We get a slight error where the track comes together. That has come out really nice. All right, height, yeah, correct. Nice, nice, nice. That's good enough for me. Okay, let's see now. High speed. Continuing on. Yeah, see, that's what we end up with there. Just, it's just a little bit too tight that side's okay this side is just a little bit too tight so as you can see i'm fast forwarding through this this is basically because it took me a long while to work out what i'd done wrong in a nutshell after a long-winded bit of messing about i worked out that i should have done the platform width the distance between the platform edge and the trains after i'd connected the tracks to both ends of the platform and this is just me fast forwarding through that process of me working that out Back to the video. We've got the so, so the up, down, fast, up, down, slow, and Thames link. And then coming out of the other side of this. Right, let's do the up, down, fast would be the easiest way of doing it. They're up to a bridge. So if we come carry on like this, like this. About, about there. Where are we going? We are on course. We're on course around like this some of that some of that and we're gonna put that there and you're gonna continue to come out you're gonna come closer in about there you're gonna come out here to about there and then you are gonna come around like have you got a what kind of connection is that okay i'm absolutely lying that goes away 
This outside one does that. Oh, I know what happens here because they are... Hold on. Ah, I see what happens here. Nope. Delete that. It's because they they go into one, but I know why. Because they are both up, down, slows, technically. So, this one... goes there you go there and then you and then what ah. and then you go there and you also go there And then I'm assuming we have, if we have a look at open rail, I'm assuming there's a switch and then there's a, a switch after that. But we are going to go back to Google because I need to see the geometry or the, the actual layout. I'm going to try two different ways with this. We're going to extend this a little bit here on the level. like that there and there and you can go there just because you're to look good and then there and there because i want to keep you apart and then we have our switch which i need to have another look at open rail must be another switch somewhere here yeah, there is so we have a switch here i'm trying to work out see so they would come here. You'd go there. But how would you go in there? That's what I don't get. Well, we'll have a look. There, there might, I think there's another switch down the line a little bit because there's also a... Um, there is also... Once I get my words out, we've got the Tottenham North Curve Tunnel just after this. But what I've got to get in now is I'm going to have a try with the flying junction here so we're going to need five at the bottom no two at the upper five at the bottom because i'm going to edit one and one's not going to actually be anything and i'm going to see how tight i can get this oh my oh yeah that's what i was literally what i was after we've got high speed tracks that is exactly what i wanted uh, we need it nine. Might add a little bit of an angle curvature because we are crossing that way, but we're turning upper track radius like that a little bit. Crossing angle. I just want to extend that a little bit. Do I? No, I don't. I want that dead square. That just looks a bit boring though, doesn't it? I, could, I guess I could build some bits around it. Or do I? I know what I do. I know what I do. Upper tracks. I do four. And then I can sort of ballast it. That's better. I'm happy with that. Right, I need to lower this terrain. So it works. Is that water we're hitting? Are we on the... Oh, that... We should get away with that. I can, up, I can raise it again after. There we are. Okay, then we're going to raise this again to about there. Round you go. Lovely. Uh, configure. Uh, tracks. Doesn't really matter. I just want the these. Here. Here. Nice. No. Can I have no catenary? Is that all right? like that nice and you actually in the middle as well because you are not anything there we go and then we can delete that after that and there we have it so this is this is the um what's it called north london line the north london line which is coming out of camden 
road here. We're going to change that curve a little bit and then comes over the top of here. I don't think there's any stations between there and there. I'm not really sure, but we've got that in. We have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see if there's any... We got any stations? This is quite high above. Yeah, there is. There's a Kentish Town West. I don't like that curve. I also think I've got a sort of a terrain here because I, I need it quite high around here because we've got all housing on top of this. Well, I don't know. And then we've got our two tracks here that go all the way around. Then we have the Tottenham North curve comes in. We've got a couple of switches. And then they spread under a big old tunnel here because then they go back in and then they go under that and then we're at West Hampstead. Yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Right. Let's get this. Let's have a look at this underground. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to build this road and then I'll work that out. At a later date. Will that go straight across? Yes. Nice. That's the right level and that's what I wanted. Uh, we're going to go flat concrete here. And then we're going to have another road that comes about there lovely and then we have a little road that kind of oh no that's the track a little road that kind of spurns off this way wiggles down we just do that for now i'll be nice nicely in place and i think that goes down to some warehouses and bits and bobs yes it does so, but this is the road I want to concentrate on. Uh, make it a bit wider because this is like where all our passenger buildings are. And I've got to work out how I'm going to do this. So what I might do is I might put the Northern Line station in. We're going to keep it keep it on the level of what it is. Put that in, and then we'll go from there. So I need to go into tracks, and I need to delete back this first. Put the northern line in and then we'll see how the buildings maybe any you know, time lapse because i need to play about and see how i want them as well it's a funny old video this one i feel like i'm just doing lots of bitty 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 bits i think really sort of of any significance well i got i got a station down uh third rail got a station down i guess we need this nice and straight there's no stations between this Kentish Town. Is there? No, it's straight from Camden Town to Kentish Town. I guess it's not that far. I think my 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 distance is larger. Okay. And these two. Right, we're coming more this way. Out there. Uh, stay on that. And we're gonna just. I'm trying to keep these tracks also the same distance apart as they come up where are you there you are lovely and you should be yep nice and then while i'm here i'm just gonna go back and delete these two bits of track in between tracks go around and this 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 train track is exactly maybe like this right about there yes that's about right that is about right is that gonna go? yeah that's nice that is exactly where i want you hop right buildings now we need underground station Why is there a curve on this? I don't want a curve on this. There we go. Uh, third rail. Uh, that one. The Y1. Where's the railway there? Plot that down. Beautiful. And then what we can do is while we, we'll put the connections in for this. We, we'll name this actually. Ken. Yeah. Ken. Ken Tish. Oh, two T's. Town underground. And we'll put these street connections in. Nice and big black concrete. Yes. Because we'll, we've got a couple of buildings here. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna try 
I'm going to try. What I'm going to try and do is, and you'll probably see the time lapses, I'm going to try and build a building um, in with this as well. I'm going to put one the other side of this just to expand, it, expand its range. I'm going to try and build the building, the, the over, the, the, oh my God, the bridge over the station and try and build a building so that it's all kind of as close together as we can. There we go. That's nice. Oh, that's worked out quite nice. That's what I want to do anyway. So everything's nicely and sort of compactly connected, which would be pretty good. That's worked out quite nice, the underground, though. Are these the wrong set? These... Oh, I happen, have I? Have I? Do I need to configure this? Yep, yeah, I do. Um, I've only got one railway platform. Track cat. Third. Ah, oh, it's because I did it on the other one, isn't it? It saved it on the other... There we go. Is the is the stairs on the right bit though? The stairs are in the middle, right? Yeah, they are. That's fine. So where's the other railway gone? Pop that in to there. Get rid of that. There's the Northern Line, Kentish Town, and the Main Line as well. Nice. So that will go down to there. Then we have another station, another bit of Kentish Town here. Shall I put that in now as well? Should we do that while I'm here or should we leave it at that? I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll do that in a time lapse because I need to have a look at this angle. Right, so this has got to go around like this. Take a look at that, see how I feel about it. I'm quite happy with that though. That's quite nice. There's a couple more bridges, obviously, road bridges here, but we, we're working to a, a smaller scale so we can't fit that in. I sort of, you know, put that in first. I think that's come out quite nicely, guys. I'm not sure about you. There's a bit of a, a fannying about with this, and it still needs a bit more fannying about, but it's in. And that is all that matters. We have another station that goes in here, like a whatever it is, east, south, west Kentish. A bit, a bit more Kentish going on there. And we cross over there. Then that swings round as well and comes back to this. That's what I'm going to do, basically, off camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a time lapse. And I'm going to try and get it out either the same day as this video, which would be a Tuesday, or at least the day after. It depends how much work I want to get done, because I do want to clear this out a little bit and get all these connections going. And then get some trains going as well, because I would like... We, it's been a while since we had a cab ride as well, yeah? So I'd like to get a cab ride in. So if I can get some connections going and get some bits in we can get some cab rides going i get a bit more detailing going in here because i want to fill this out basically i want to get this all done and nice just this area just to fill it you know just to fill it see if we can encourage some build here if we have to add another town we will do and then it will look just a little bit nicer don't you think and just get some trains coming out of more than just london euston but i need to go back over here as well i need to look at paddington and maybe go out to heathrow over there as well at some point as well but it's coming together it's a nice aerial shot there it's um it's uh it is definitely getting there it's nice isn't it well i think it's nice i'm not sure what you think you know whatever it's coming together though it's coming together i'd also like to get this um combats going as well i'm assuming that we're gonna have because there, there is some i think there's that tunnel after this that comes in and I, i'm not sure what that is that looks like a bit of freight which we could utilize maybe some of the freight here we could change one of these maybe to a uh to a uh what's it called whatever the this has whatever this whatever this takes what does it take these these stone you know change one to stone and maybe get some uh get some com mats going over there as well which would be cool and then we can start feeding london a bit more com mat ish as well um and yeah i also need to work on some of the underground here we need to get this connected i need to delete this at some point because that was me just messing about but it's looking good um thank you very much for watching thank you very much for all your feedback and your comments they're amazing don't forget to like and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe i see you guys in the next one hopefully it's a time lapse